Right now we are tracking a severe weather alert. The winds are picking up outside. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kaluni and more strong wind is expected tonight and with it comes the possibility of storm damage and power outages. And as we come on the air, National Grid reports more than 500 customers are currently in the dark. Most of those are in Providence County. A spokesperson for National Grid says hundreds of line crews and forestry crews are at the ready. And we have team coverage for you tonight. 12 News reporters Sheena Loshuto and Amanda Pitts are standing by with an update on how the weather is impacting our area. But first, let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka for the latest. We're seeing the numbers starting to go up for power outages, Tony. Yeah, so Mike and Kim, this is it now through about 9, 10 o'clock o'clock tomorrow morning, the wind ramping up as the storm really makes its closest approach uh, overnight tonight towards daybreak tomorrow. Let's set the stage, not just the wind, but also some rain. We've seen one to two inches of rain so far with another additional one to two inches overnight into early tomorrow morning. So that's why we still have the, flat, uh, the flood watch in effect through tomorrow. Localized street flooding likely overnight and into early in the morning. Here's the setup on the satellite and radar composite. And here's Cape Cod right here. And the nor'easter, the storm itself, is developing just offshore right in here and intensifying rapidly. It's about 120 miles south and east of uh, Cape Cod and rather than moving out to sea to the north and east, it's actually backing up and moving in reverse. So it'll make its closest pass overnight through early tomorrow morning. We've had a wind gust in Hull, Massachusetts. That's just south of Boston, 77 miles per hour. It's gusting to 70 on the Cape. Here in Rhode Island, we're gusting between 35 and 50, but those wind speeds will be going up during the overnight. So here's the breakdown. The rain continues. The storm makes its closest pass overnight. An additional one to two inches of rain expected. The strongest gust, well, first of all, it'll be windy everywhere, but the strongest gusts will be confined to the coast, southern Rhode Island, the Cape and the islands, and the offshore waters. And the strongest wind is now, now through about 10 o'clock in the morning, and scattered power outages will continue overnight and through early in the morning. The areas in red should have the strongest wind overnight, so quite simply, the areas in red have the higher chances of scattered power outages. Uh, areas further north and west inland, you still have the risk of power outages, but the wind is a little weaker here, but still significant, and that'll continue right on through the overnight. New information coming in. We're just sort of scratching the surface here. We'll take you through the storm system in more detail. Kind of a stormy night ahead. The full forecast coming up in a few minutes. And don't forget, you can download the Pinpoint 12 weather app at WPRI.com or by scanning that barcode. It's a great way to see what the app can do in situations like this with an approaching storm. So many features on there, and you can download that for free. There's more weather coming up in a little bit. Tony, thank you. And our team coverage continues now in Providence tonight. And, uh, and that's where we find 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto, who's live now. What conditions look like out there, Sheena? So we're really focusing on what the roads look like right now, and we are noticing more and more water built up over here. And of course, it might only get worse when you wake up tomorrow. The puddles are getting bigger and bigger here in Providence. The steady rain only expected to get worse overnight. Rhode Islanders doing what they do best, getting in one last grocery run before it gets too messy out there. Uh, just in case, you never know what's going to happen, you know what I mean? Get to stack up on some snacks and then just get ready to be chilling all night. Officials are warning your ride to work in the morning could be challenging. On top of the wet roads, there's likely going to be debris on the pavement too. Powerful winds expecting to make impacts. Storms like this with high winds are going to blow down leaves from trees that are nearby the highway and uh, could create problems during the storm. So we ask people to be aware of flooding. Don't drive through areas that appear to be flooded. Public works crews in Providence and East Providence tell 12 News they've been working all week to prepare for the weather, for example, by clearing storm drains. Now crews are on call to address anything that might happen overnight. <laughs> Meanwhile, some Rhode Island drivers say they're playing it safe, staying home if they can and driving with caution if they have to go out and just pay attention at all times. I slowly and watch out for other people, you know. And just something to keep in mind, officials say if you are out on the roads tomorrow, make sure you keep some room in between you and the car in front of you during these severe conditions. Now, coastal communities are always in full preparation mode ahead of these weather events. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts, Eric with much more coverage.
Yes, yeah, Sheena, the conditions here at the coast are getting worse and worse as the hours go on. The wind has been whipping us around and the rain is starting to pick up. And check out these waves. They're getting bigger and bigger as the hours go on. But it is, though, the perfect setting to sit back in your car and watch the storm roll in. We're checking out the waves. It's a windy night tonight in a nor'easter as usual. As a nor'easter settles over the ocean state, Rhode Islanders are taking it in from the coast. Just come down, check out the waves, and it's very relaxing to listen to the surf, even though it's kind of crazy tonight. Crazy surf is the best kind of surf, says Allison of Narragansett. She stopped for some coffee, then headed for the town beach to watch the storm roll in. She says she prefers this to the beach in the summer. It's fun to come and see, uh, you know, nature wild and free kind of thing. When everybody's here, a lot of people at the beach, it's a beautiful day. It's not quite the same character. It's a different idea, you know, to come down when it's stormy and crazy and wild. Others love this beach any time of year. Watching the waves, listening to the waves, too. They're very nice. It's a lovely beach. We love it. Jean Haley and Hugh Barry of North Kingstown say they get nervous watching surfers brave the waves. When I see surfers, I, like tonight, I say to myself, gee willikers, um, um, I hope nothing happens to them because it's dark. They have no lights on. I think they're a little crazy. <laughs> But the way, the um, they seem to have gotten out safely, which is good. Ethan Major, a student at URI, gassing up before the worst of the storm. He says he took his chances on the waves at Gansett and had a close call. It was pretty bad, actually. I, I almost, uh, I got tumbled and the waves held me down. It was a nice little rip at uh, Gansett. Um, I think we tr we were out there for 40 minutes. We didn't get past probably 50 feet of the, of the shoreline. There was one moment where I got tumbled and I didn't know which way was up, but I was all right. Again, the conditions out here are getting worse and worse. If you're heading down here tonight or tomorrow morning, officials urge you stay off the rocks and stay out of the water. Live in Narragansett, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.